get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We were fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. But I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But not now. Come on. Optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. That's a girl. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Good girl. Oh. I ain't sharing mine. I think I see something. Yup. There they are, down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. Take this. Let's go. Coming through here. You'll be okay. Whoa, there they are. We follow and keep an eye on them. Having anyone with me? There. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Our chance. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. Look out on these rocky paths. Ah! 
It's your call. Another one off the coast. I'll take care of it. He's too. Gonna hear us on these bridges, but it's worth a try.
I need your pieces. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How to work ain't easy, Joan. No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't put him in the cell. <sighs> Damn you! Now we paid you for that bounty. It don't come with no payment or special treatment. That's your cell at the end there. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, it's all right. yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> A luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian... Get a boat, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Okay, now back to what you were saying. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it really stays. Looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. 
I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Go speak to the man. Have you got any mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Have you got any mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired. Okay. <laughs> All right then, Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like Everyone find some cover! Keep your head down! Where'd they come from? Goddamn bastards! Ah! He's running! You okay? Devin, you okay? Yes. Is that the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! Uh, all right, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on!
Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, my Lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. Got it? Come on, we gotta go. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I, most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Uncle! Uncle! Uh, 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 Uncle! I was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we've scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. Pimp me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. <laughs>
a saw and a board and I'll cut it I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind 